You are welcome to another video of CLI based network automation using Python Nornier based on Cisco devices. In this section, I'm going to prepare network automation lab, which will be used during the course. For the lab, we need one controller and at least one network device to be managed by the controller. For the controller, we will use Ubuntu as the operating system with Visual Studio Code as IDE and Python as programming language and a Cisco iOS XE virtual device to be managed by controller. I've already prepared the lab environment, but just to show you how I prepared it, I will point out the main steps and points that I've had. They are not exact, but hopefully help you. In the first step, I installed the Ubuntu desktop version at the time of writing. The latest version is 22.04.1 which you can download from the Ubuntu website. Then I installed the Python on the Ubuntu machine with the following command, rsmall update the repository with command sudo apt-get update is already updated. And then the next step, install Python 3, Python 3 virtual environment. If you are going to run your code in the virtual environment in Python programming language and Python pip, which is required to install Python libraries, all of these packages are already installed. Python 3 pip, not Python pip 3. As you can see, all these packages are the latest version you probably have multiple versions of the python 2 and python 3 on your machine but that's not a problem because in visual studio code we will choose our correct and right version to run our python code in the next step i installed visual studio code is an environment where you can easily create your code in Ubuntu software, you can easily search for Visual Studio Code and the code is what you have to install as an ID for your programming. To start your Python code, then we run Visual Studio Code. To start your Python code in Visual Studio Code, you must install the Python extension in Visual Studio Code. Therefore, in extension section, you can also go to the extension section through the file, preference, and then extension, or through the shortcut, and then you have to install Python extension. It's the first output of the Python. As you can see, it is already installed. When you install your Python extension in Visual Studio Code, then uh, normally you have here a link to choose the correct version of the Python. If you have multiple version of Python 2 and 3, install your Ubuntu machine. But there are other ways also to choose the correct version. The first method is to open a Python or create a Python file. For example, this is a Python file, any Python file. Then here you can find the current version of the Python used by the Visual Studio Code by clicking over the version. You will have the option to choose between different options, which is probably installed in your machine. So it is the only Python version that already installed in my machine. So I don't need to change it. The another way to choose the correct version of Python in Visual Studio Code is to go to the Visual Studio Code command environment with choosing Control, Shift, and then P. Here in the command, you can choose the Python select interpreter. And then again, you, you have the option to choose between different versions of the Python. So I will choose the correct version. In addition to the automation controller, we also need at least one rotor to be managed by the controller to follow this course. 
I chose to use the Cisco IOS XE during the course. A lab with routers from multiple vendors is, of course, preferred. To prepare network devices, we have many options, Cisco Sandbox, EVNG, GNS3, virtual devices, VMware Workstation or vSphere Server, or any other virtual hypervisor. It is important that you can prepare a connection between your controller and your devices. Here, I will show you two methods, Cisco Sandbox and local Cisco IOS XE on VMware vSphere server. For the Cisco Sandbox environment, simply search on the Google Cisco Sandbox. Then, in the networking section, in the networking sandbox, you can easily search the iOS XE labs. At the time of creating this video, there is only one iOS XE lab, which is called iOS XE on CSR, latest code with ZTP, with a version of 17.3.1. To use, we have to log in to the website, reserve the lab, and create a VPN connection, and then we are allowed to connect to the device through our controller to manage the device. When we reserve the lab, we are allowed to connect to the CSR1000V, and also there is a controller in the lab, but you can use your own developer machine or controller machine. Here are the property of the device that you are allowed to connect to the device after creating VPN connection. This is the IP address of CSR, CSR 1000V iOS XE device. You are allowed to connect with SSH, NetConf, and RESCOM. NetConf and RESCOM will be used for the next course, Yang-based network automation, which will be used mostly with NetConf, RESCOM, and GNMI. But for this course, we only need SSH connection to be established with network devices and the username and the password that we will use in our inventory to connect to the device. What I will use during the course is my local CSR1000V iOS XE network device that I have created in my vSphere server, CSR1000V. If we check the version of our CSR is 17, 1, 1 is the version of our OVF file. And the configuration that I've already prepared in Cisco device is only giving an IP address and preparing SSH connection. You can see here the configuration with show running configuration, but the, the final configuration I have written here, host name, domain name, Username Raika with privilege 15 with the password raika-co.com and then give an IP address to Giga Ethernet 1 if you can see 111 as you can see here and then I've enabled privilege level 15 in line VTY and enable SSH and Telnet transport and the authentication is based on local repository and finally I've generated RSA PK, so I'm able to connect to the device through SSH protocol. These are all the configuration that I have prepared in Cisco device, so I can connect to the device. I can check it again with uh, 192, 168, 111. As you can see, I'm able to connect to the device. But when I tried to connect to the device through Ubuntu machine, I was not able to connect to the device. And I received this error, which shows the algorithm which are enabled in the Cisco network device, but they are not activated in Ubuntu machine because of the security. So after troubleshooting, I prepared a configuration file in Ubuntu machine in SSH folder. So these algorithms are allowed to be used by Ubuntu machine to connect to the network device. And this is the configuration that I've already prepared. 
cat in SSH folder and then config. Here for our um, network device, we are allowed to use these algorithm for key algorithm, defilement algorithm for us key algorithm SSH RSA and for public key also we are allowed to use SSH RSA. So here I can connect to the device after creating so I have to press change the IP address of the config file. So do here instead of 111 I will change it to 11 and then I try again to connect to the device as you can see now I am able to connect to the network device through the oven tour machine without any problem after creating this configuration file and finally if you want to have all Python codes local in your machine you can install and clone my automation Python code from my Python GitHub with sudo install app install git you can install git in your local computer as you can see it's already installed and updated then we we'll create here a directory test dir cd test dir and then git clone my github GitHub asset tour and then devnet and then the address copy and then here paste and you can have all my python codes local in your machine cd devnet and then python nornier here you have all your codes